guys, happy holidays. It's just about that time. I have my annual holiday gift guide for you. In recent years, I've condensed it down just into one to simplify and also it's just hard to think of that many things. Let's, let's be real here. Thinking of gifts to give people sometimes can be pretty easy and sometimes can be just challenging. And that's why I love not only making these videos, but watching them as a YouTube watcher and a blog reader. I love getting ideas. So that's why I share these gift guides. I'm going to show you some of the things I'm actually bought for friends and family this year. And uh, in the hopes that it gives you some ideas and maybe even just sparks some thoughts in your head. If you're not interested in these particular items, maybe it'll give you some ideas. So I'm going to go in order of price range, starting out with my first category, stocking stuffers. These are gifts that range up to about 20, what did I do? About $20, give or take, and they're smaller in size, so they could conceivably fit in the stocking. Um, with any of these things, I think they'd be great to bundle to make um, a fun, like, extravagant gift set, uh, or to give individually, whatever you prefer. The first item on my list this year is the Tavolo Pancake Pen. This handy little contraption makes for me in particular, I use it with my waffle maker, which I'm going to show you in a later category because I love it and it's an awesome gift. This just makes making pancakes with waffles a breeze with no, like, especially with the waffle iron, I find that I can fill it the way exactly the way I want to. <laughs> That'll make more sense when I show you the waffle maker in particular I'm talking about. But this is so cool because it has two openings, one on each side, so you can fill your batter, waffle or pancake batter, in this side, and then you close it up, and on this side, it has the pen part, and that's how you can make perfect circle pancakes or to fill your waffle irons without dripping or splattering your batter everywhere using just like a spoon or something, a ladle or whatever. Um, $10, perfect thing for your um, resident family chef or whatever uh, to stick in the stocking. Perfect stocking size, but don't say so myself. I recently discovered the Dymo embossing label maker. This is a $10 label maker and it makes embossed labels. I'm gonna overlay some footage here that I took or I used, I've been using this most specifically in my kitchen, but you can use it on anything, of course. It's got that really vintage look to it. It's so easy, it's just manual. You just turn the dial on the machine itself. It doesn't take a battery or anything. It's completely manual. Um, so you select, it's got, you know, all the letters of the alphabet, of course, and punctuation and numbers, um, and a space and a cutting um, button so you can cut the label out. Works great and is so cool looking. I just love it and I think it'd be great for any, um, but any of your label lovers in your family, you know you've got one or two of those in your life, a friend or family member. And like I said, $10. Hard to beat that. I generally don't love talking about products that I can't link you to directly online, but I love this hand cream so much, I thought I had to include it. It's only $5. It's from Trader Joe's. It's their Ginger Ultra Hydrating Moisturizing Cream. They have this... Um, cream year round, but not the ginger scent. That is particular to right this very second. I love the original. It's got a great scent. It's just a really nice hydrating hand cream. It's definitely been my favorite in the past year, um, but the ginger brings it to the next level. So if you uh, live locally to a Trader Joe's, I highly recommend scooting on over there and picking up as many as you can, because with their seasonal products, you just never know how long they're gonna last. And uh, if they don't have them, like I said, the original is awesome too. I know you can buy, I've seen online from third party vendors reselling the, you know, Trader Joe's stuff like this at a markup. So you can get it. And I would say it's worth $10 if you want to spend twice as much as possible for it. But if you have even somebody who lives close to a Trader Joe's who can buy one for you and send it to you, totally worth it. $5. Hand cream is an awesome stocking stuffer. And so is, I think, a really nice hydrating lip product. I have become obsessed with the Lip Whip by Cary Gran. This is a pot style lip balm. Um, this is a peppermint 
scent and it's got a tiny bit of a pink tint to it. Not sure if it'll pop up on camera there. This is mine. You can see I've been using it. This is, my, I think, my third pot of this. One, I use it multiple times a day. One of these lasts me maybe two months. I buy mine through Grove, um, but you can also get them on Amazon, um, which is convenient. And it's my favorite lip product at the moment. It makes my lips just feel very moisturized and fresh, and I like that it has just a tiny hint of color to it. It's a beautiful lip balm and a little bit price, pricier for a lip product, just like a regular everyday lip product. So a nice um, gift, I think, to give. Has it been Christmas if you haven't gotten socks in your stocking? I'm not sure it has been. I uh, recently started wearing these toe socks. I would have sworn to you up until like a month or two ago that I hated toe socks, that I thought they were silly, that they made my feet cold. I didn't understand that I had never tried like good toe socks. This is the brand that I love. This is In Jinji. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but it's very possible I'm not. I wear these every day. Now I bought them in particular because I wear um, like toe braces, toe spacers to help with some foot problems and they just help me with those. But honestly, if I weren't wearing the toe spacer braces, things, I would still be wearing these socks because I love them that much. They actually keep my feet warmer. I have circulation problems. Sometimes my feet get a little extra cold. They keep my feet extra warm. I really love the Performance Trail. They're mid-weight and they're lightweight running sock for every day, for fitness, for whatever. And they come in men's sizes too. They come in women's and men's. There's a variety of sizes and styles available on their website. You can also get them on Amazon. I've bought some at REI. Um, they're a really cool sock and they're really high quality. Um, so I highly recommend those. I love them. It's, it's such a, like a weird thing to wear, I think. <laughs> but once you start wearing them, I, I don't know if I'll ever go back to regular socks because they just, they work so well. I love them so much. And of course, to me, it's not a stocking without some sort of chocolate treat. I have become obsessed with Ritual Chocolate. This is a Utah-based company that I um, came across last summer, and or two summers ago, I should say, and I have just, I just love their chocolate. It is high quality, premium chocolate, beautifully made. I highly recommend going to their website to see more about how they make their chocolate and just how passionate they, they are about this. But right now, limited edition. They have a gingerbread flavor of their chocolate bar out. It's delightful. It's so good. This is an $11 bar of chocolate. This is not an expensive chocolate. It is worth every cent. I promise you. It is worth every cent. It's definitely an extravagant splurge chocolate experience, but once you go like ritual you just you don't go back to other chocolate i just don't want to eat other chocolate anymore <laughs> this is the best chocolate um it'd be really really cool if they could come out with an advent calendar maybe next year um that would be so neat because it'd just be a wonderful daily um indulgence all of their chocolate is vegan friendly they of course have other varieties as well this just happens to be my favorite to suggest for a holiday gift guide because it's very holiday flavored um, oriented, but it is such beautiful chocolate. And also, I don't have this on hand because I used it all and didn't think to save it for the video. But their drinking chocolate is unparalleled to any other drinking chocolate I've ever tried. And you can buy it by the bag. It's it's like ground chocolate, <laughs> essentially. It's not powder. It's actual chocolate. It makes the thickest, most decadent, creamy hot chocolate you have ever had. It is so good. And that, I th believe is about, I think it's $16 for a bag worth every cent. The little luxuries category price range runs from about 25 to $50 historically, uh, when I've um, post shared these gift guides. One of the items on my list is something that I discovered earlier this fall, and it is the Milk House Candle Company. These are great candles. I love that it's a small business, it's pretty local to me. 
I love this candle in particular. I've been kind of saving it. Like I started burning it earlier this fall and I was like, no, I'm saving this for the gift guide. I have a bit of a coffee theme in this category, which you will see, but uh, oh, it smells just like the best cup of coffee roasting ever. And it's a beautiful soy uh, wax candle. It burns really well and I just love the aesthetic of it. It looks really great in my kitchen um, and they have uh, lots of other scents. They have holiday scents, they have had fall scents, and they have different sizes and styles of candles, but they all kind of have this black and white, really simplistic farmhouse looking vibe, and I really love it. I'm here for it. This particular candle, which I believe is their 26 ounce candle, I can't remember exactly, is $29. I love a really good notebook. I have, for as long as I can remember, loved notebooks. I have, in the last year or so, become obsessed with the Archer and Olive Dot Grid A5 notebooks. I have used one as a journal for the last year, so I think this is my second or third one that I'm just using as a personal journal. And then I've been back in a bullet journal for the past couple of months, and um, it's great for that too. Um, so you can see, it's just... It's, it's beautiful paper. It's the thickest, nicest paper. There's no bleed through. I don't do art in here, but I know a lot of, of, I know of a lot of artists who use it, particularly because the paper does not bleed through. They are lie flat books, which I really appreciate. Um, and they're just beautiful. They're beautiful, beautiful notebooks. They come in a variety of sizes and styles. So you don't have to do a dot grade. You can do a lined or a I think they even have blank. They have different colored pages, paper, I mean, on the inside. They have different designs in the front. They have different colors of the binding. I just closed this up and it has all of my pricing information on it, of course. $32, so it's definitely a luxurious notebook, but I think competitively priced for the quality that you're getting. I've tried a lot of different notebooks, bullet journals, dot grids in the past. This is definitely my favorite by far. I've shared about Mud Love mugs on my Instagram for a while now. I recently became an ambassador for them. I purchased this mug myself, you guys, so I will always indicate when I'm sharing a gifted product. I don't re usually do sponsorships, but if I were to do one, I would definitely tell you that as well. Um, I actually discovered the company a year ago um, in conjunction with the One Little Word Project as a way to not only kind of have a tactile reminder of your word, but also just a really cool mug and a really neat company. The company has a really great philanthropy behind their products. They partner with Water for Good. So every mug you purchase for them from them provides a one week of safe, clean water to somebody in need, which is amazing. I will link, obviously, the mug, but you can read more about their philanthropy and the initiatives behind their products and, um, the good they do on their website. But back to the mug itself, not only is it a beautiful mug, you pick it in a variety of colors, it's handmade, it's supporting a great small business that supports a greater need in our world, and um, you can customize it, which is great for a gift. Customized gifts are great. Uh, and I love um, putting my word of the year on my mug. Because, it, like I said, it just is a nice tactile reminder of something that I really want to focus on for the coming year. All right, I mentioned coffee. I have gotten really into brewing coffee. This year has been the year of coffee transformation for me. I, you know, I love my Nespresso machine, and I still use it very frequently. But in recent months, I've started um, doing, a, a, I think it's called Chemex. Is I hope I'm saying that right because you know me I don't pronounce anything correctly, but it's a pour over method. I believe that's what we call it um, Is it pour over or drip? I'm so I don't I do not know the lingo yet I'm really just getting into the the coffee brewing world, but I just think this is such a beautiful gift This is the six cup, which is a really good size I think for anybody um, I use I'm only one person I use it I make probably I make about 500 milliliters of coffee that's what I want to drink in a given morning um, so that that translates to with my brewing preferences 30 grams of ground coffee beans you could definitely brew more in here probably at least twice as much easily 
or less. I've made less as well. This beautiful glass um, contraption, the Chemax, is runs you at about $45 for this size, for this capacity. You buy the special filters that um, you can use with this design of coffee maker. And it's just such a fun process. It's a really involved process, but it only takes about three minutes. So you feel like you're really bre actively brewing your coffee, but it doesn't take forever to do. And it's just, I just, I've really enjoyed it. I've been having fun trying different kinds of coffee beans and different brewing times and methods and water temperatures and just all the things. Um, so this is one of those things I think you could bundle with really great coffee, maybe a coffee grinder, some filters, maybe something that you will be seeing in my extravagant splurges category to make like a big bundle gift, or this in itself is a beautiful gift. Uh, you can actually get these. I've seen them at Whole Foods. I got mine on Amazon. They sell them at basically any home store like William Sonoma, Crate and Barrel, I believe has them too. Uh, but just a beautiful thing too. Like can you imagine having people over for breakfast and serving them coffee out of this beautiful, beautiful decanter. And then speaking of coffee, now I'm a little bit bummed about this. I bought this about a month ago and it has since I just checked today to make sure that the links were still good, it sold out, which is a bummer. I think on their Etsy you can still, oh, let me tell you what it is first. This is a coffee bean advent calendar. I actually opened day one and I had it today so I could test it out for you. I discovered there's about 15 grams of coffee per, per day uh, in each sachet. So for me, that's about half as much coffee as I want to drink in a day. So I would probably combine two days or brew this and then maybe make an espresso drink on the side just because I want to drink more coffee. Sadly, you can't buy this particular advent calendar. I saw their Etsy at a bit more expensive, has some of their already ground versions available. This one was only like $40 or so with the whole beans. So maybe it's something to put on your list of ideas for next year. Um, Cause I just think it's a really cool gift. And again, this would be cool bundled with the, the Chemex um, or any other coffee maker thing, grinder, what have you, um, or just in it, on its own. Um, this is actually a British company, this Yawn Brew. I had never heard of before, but I went on a hunt for beverage, like hot beverage um, advent calendars, and I found them, and I just thought they were really well reviewed, and I just thought they were so neat. So that's the coffee one. You might still be able to get the already ground variety on their Etsy. I don't know if that will still be available. I also did get the tea one, um, which I, again, brewed the first cup of today. I usually get the David's Tea Advent Calendar, but I didn't notice it um, on sale this year, which I thought was interesting. But again, it's 24 days of tea. I, off, I opted for the loose leaf because that's what, how I prefer to brew mine. This is the, um, I think this is the Christmas selection, so it has both herbal and caffeinated teas. Again, just noticed it sold out. This was only about $32, I think. And it did ship from England, so shipping did cost a bit more. It wasn't extravagantly expensive to have it shipped. And it came within a week, which I thought was pretty incredible for overseas shipping. They do have one of their tea advent calendars left as of filming this. And it is their Christmas, I think the Christmas morning blend. So I'm guessing that's all caffeinated tea. Again, this is something to put on your list maybe for next year. Additionally, I did get the hot chocolate advent calendar, which is sold out, so I didn't bring it up to show you today. Uh, but again, might be worth putting on your list for next year. I will be partaking in all of those over the holiday season, and I'll let you know how I think about um, how I think they are. But I did test them out, you know, just on a little bit. Actually, I have the tea right here. It's lovely. It's like a, a minty black tea. The coffee I had this morning was very nice, a very light roast. Um, but I'm expecting them to be different roasts because every day is a different coffee bean. Um, but yeah, really fun to have. I think an advent calendar is a nice gift to give in advance of the holiday season as, you know, it could be a holiday gift, but 
It's a fun thing that somebody can open every day. So speaking of extravagant splurges, let's move to that category. So these are gifts that are $50 and up, and they are extravagant. The aforementioned waffle maker, that I did not bring this upstairs because it's big, but I took some footage to show you. Um, this is the 90th anniversary Mickey Mouse double flip waffle maker. Retails for $70. Five dollars. Really good, really good waffle maker. We use this multiple times a week and it makes perfect little Mickey waffles. Just the perfect ones like they have at the Disney parks. I love it. Works so great with, this would be a great thing to pair with a Tofolo pancake pen because to me it works just so well. I don't have any spillover or anything. To clean, it's so simple because the waffles pop out so clean. All I do is wipe it with a damp cloth once it's cooled down, obviously unplugged. And the kids love it. It's amazing for dipping into syrup too because you can just dip the little Mickey ears into the syrup. This is a great gift for any Disney lover, for any Mickey lover, for any waffle lover for that matter. I think a waffle iron is a great gift, but this one in particular takes the cake because it's Mickey Mouse. Going back to my coffee theme, I do not know what I would do without my milk frother. <laughs> it would be a sad existence. I love my Nespresso Arachino milk frother. It's actually the first edition. I think I've had it for a few years at least. Um, they have now available Arachino 4, which is this fanciness right here. Um, I did buy this as a gift for somebody, so I'm not gonna take it out of the box, but I will show you a clip of how of my first edition one and how that works. I use mine with plant-based milk altern dairy alternatives to milk basically. Oat milk, in my opinion, froths the best. I think it froths better than dairy milk, but honestly I can't remember the last time I frothed any actual milk milk. Um, you can make cold froth, you can make hot froth, you can just heat up um, you know, milk to put in your coffee so it doesn't cool down your hot beverage. Uh, I use it for tea lattes. You can, I think you can even make like hot chocolate in them. I haven't tried that personally, but they are the best and such a beautiful gift because it's something somebody might not necessarily splurge on for themselves. $120 for the latest model, worth every penny in my humble opinion. I've given this as a gift before with great feedback and I just think it's a really wonderful thing for any coffee lover in your in your life. Giving something that's been handcrafted is just such an extra special gift. I met Marsha of Marsha's Clay Art I think three or four years ago now at a local art fair where I bought one of her bowls and a little bud vase and a mug. Well, flash forward, flash forward, fast forward several years, and now I have several sets of nesting bowls, a few vases, um, berry bowls, um, mugs of various shapes and sizes. She just makes the most beautiful pottery, and I love it. I purchased this a six bowl set from her. This is actually one of five of the bowls. The sixth one is an extra large bowl that is downstairs on my kitchen counter. I didn't want to risk bringing it upstairs. I bought these in particular to match my black and white and gray kitchen. They are just beautiful. I use these for fruits and vegetables on my counter. I use them to serve food out of. I use them to store food in, in the fridge even sometimes. And I just... I use them every day, and I think they are the most beautiful gift. I was actually just given, as a housewarming gift from a dear friend, a set of vases from her. What a beautiful gift, gorgeous. The six, this particular six bowl set is several hundred dollars. It's, you know, it's handmade with love. It's definitely extravagant. It's definitely a splurge. You can get a variety of her products for a variety of prices. So you don't have to spend quite that much, but if you wanna really go all out and really spoil somebody, I can't recommend her nesting bowl sets enough and she will custom make them for you in you know, whatever color 
size style that that you want beautiful beautiful things if you do want to order something from her i recommend in time for christmas this year i recommend doing so right away um, because she makes everything by hand herself she's a one woman operation although i've seen that on her instagram that her children do pitch in every once in a while and help her with her creations but uh just keep in mind these are handmade with care um, she does ship internationally too. I forgot to bring my uh, AirPods in here and I apologize. I'll have to pop in some footage of them. I love my AirPod Pros. I just, I've had them for a while now. I use them every single day. I use them when I'm editing and I don't want um, to bother the kids. I use them to listen to podcasts, to music, when I'm walking the dog, when I'm exercising. I actually have like very weird ears and even though they have different size the great thing about the AirPod Pros is that you can switch out the tips of them to, to fit different size ears. They still don't quite, no um, earbuds really work in my ears, no matter what size or style they are. So I bought these little ear hooks that are just little silicone covers for, I don't know, maybe $10, $15 on Amazon. And then they work like a charm. I can even wear them running and sweating and they work great. And I have a little rifle paper company um, case to go on it so if you want to like make a little bundle gift I think that would be cute but these are great for anybody who does not use headphones nowadays you can talk on the phone on them too they have microphone capability they are Bluetooth so there's no wires they are um, you know they work with Siri and they're just the best they're $250 they're extravagant they're a splurge they have amazing sound quality especially for an earbud you can do noise cancellation with them you could do transparent feature where you could just hear the outside you can turn all of those off and just have them be like normal headphones i love them i think they're great for anybody since moving into this house i have reconfigured my sleeping setup completely i love pottery barn bedding i have for many many years and there's nothing i haven't changed my mind about it but i did upgrade to linen bedding and it has been the best decision i made for myself and i am being completely honest uh it is just so wonderful to sleep on beautiful linen bedding i even bought a new duvet insert i bought a cover i bought a sheet i bought sheets all from parachute i love this bedding so much it is extravagantly luxurious i mean i think just one sheet and the king size will set you back almost $100. Worth it. They wash like a dream. I love that it's linen. So you can, it's supposed to look kind of wrinkly. So I don't have to iron things anymore. Because I didn't like my like regular sheets looking crumply. But linen sheets are supposed to look a little crumply. So, but I love this bedding so much. First of all, it looks incredible. It looks amazing on the bed. But it feels so beautiful it has been really up and down weather this fall it's been some days have been 70s almost the 80s and then some days have been in the 20s and 30s overnight and so the, you know the temperatures all over the place hot or cold outside i feel like i stay the same temperature in these sheets regardless and i don't i don't have the right language to explain to you just how good they feel to sleep in they're not only beautiful but so comfortable, so comfortable. And I think this would be such an amazing, beautiful gift for somebody to yourself, for sure, or to somebody you love. Is there no better way to say I love you than to give somebody the most luxurious bedding ever? I think that might be the, the most romantic gift you could possibly give somebody is <laughs> linen bedding. Um, so I highly recommend checking out their site. Uh, beautiful beautiful stuff in a variety of colors and shapes and sizes to fit all of your bedding needs a couple food ish things in the extravagant splurges category first of all uh, chai walla is a chai brand that I learned about from uh, YouTube actually I started following these van lifers Eamon and Beck and they actually this is their uh, main hustle I would guess uh, so this, I bought their starter kit plus one. So they, you can buy a kit from them with their beautiful handcrafted chai. It's a wet chai blend, so you keep it in your refrigerator. It's fresh cut herbs, 
it in spices. It is amazing, amazing chai. Um, I like this kit as a gift option. It's sixty dollars. You can buy all of these things individually for less expensive. But the kit is really nice to give as a gift because you get the little one cup pot, which I use all the time, the little strainer because you need a strainer for this chai, and the chai itself. Now you can pick either original masala chai, which is caffeinated, or their herbal, which is um, I think a rooibos base. I can't remember exactly. So, so good. And beautiful little kit that makes a beautiful gift. And last but not least, if you've been following along with me for the past, I don't know how many years I've been doing these gift guides, you know I love talking about subscriptions as a great gift. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Food subscriptions are particularly a favorite of mine. Um, Ritual Chocolate, which I talked about in the Stocking Stuffers, has a subscription service. $50 a box, you can do monthly, bi-monthly, so that's every two months, or quarterly, so that's every three months. What a beautiful gift. Even just to give somebody one box for $50 is a beautiful gift, but if you want to do the gift that keeps on giving, give somebody a subscription, maybe just four boxes for the whole year, or more, depending on how much you're willing, what's in your budget to spend. This was the October subscription box. So I actually took this bar out of it to show you. Um, so they put some of their own products in. Now keep in mind, it's a $50 box. There's four bars of chocolate in here. That's already over $40 of product right there. Right there. Um, they popped in a mug, which is really cute. It's a camper style mug, but it's ceramic. And I love it with their logo and stuff. And they put in some reishi teeth, which I thought was nice. Popped in a little ritual sticker and a card that explains everything. Um, so this is really, really fun. I'm loving this. I look forward to this every month. And I, it's a wonderful way to give the gift of extravagant chocolate to somebody on a regular basis. Uh, I think if you really want to splurge and give them the whole year, wow. Go you. Like I said, even just one box, you can cancel after one box and, and have that be a gift, like just a gift bundle for somebody or to give the recurring gift of a subscription would be amazing. And that, my friends, is my holiday gift guide for 2020. I hope this gave you some ideas or sparked some inspiration for you, for the people in your life. And I will see you real soon. Thanks so much for watching. Happy holiday shopping and take very good care. Bye.